Hello friends, this is Dr. Patil. I work as a consultant in British National Health Services. This small video is to explain the current status of vaccine development for COVID-19, especially focusing on vaccine news coming from Russia that they have created first COVID-19 vaccine. Before moving on to the main topic, I will briefly explain you the stages of vaccine development. In fact, these are the stages of development of any new medicine in modern era. There are pre-clinical stages and there are clinical stages. The pre-clinical stages of any medicine or vaccine development involve producing a chemical formula in lab and then testing it on animals, which is an animal trial, and this is called preclinical. Clinical phase involves phase one to phase three before the medicine or vaccine can be approved. Phase one is testing of the medication or vaccine on a limited number of volunteers. This is usually a small group of people who are young fit, and they may be paid by the pharmaceutical companies to undergo this testing. This phase is to determine the safety and to see whether vaccine actually gets any immune response in these volunteers. If this is successful and safe, then phase two involves testing it on hundreds of people, which again establishes the safety, correct dose and efficacy of the medication. Then vaccine goes through phase three, which is a trial on thousands of people and this confirms the safety, rare side effects and actual effectiveness in people for which, for which group it is targeted. Now, let us look at the status of various vaccines which are being developed for COVID-19 across the world. Look at this slide. The preclinical phase has got 138 vaccines to date. These are still undergoing lab or animal test level trial. The phase one of clinical trial has got 17 companies or universities at this stage. The phase two, there are nine vaccine candidates being tested in phase two. And only three of them are into the final stage of testing. None of them has been approved for COVID-19 prevention as of today. Now let us look at this diagram. This shows a list of top contenders for development of vaccine and where the stage they are at. The top one is Sinovac from China and they have finished their preclinical phase one and two trials and they are in their final stage of vaccine development if they succeed if they show efficacy and lack of major side effects, then their vaccine can get approval. Mind you, this will take at least few months. Then second on the list is University of Oxford from UK. They are trialing this in uh, association with AstraZeneca Pharmaceuticals and their trials are being conducted in Brazil and in South Africa and they have cross phase one trials and they're doing phase two and three trials together. There are a few more firms which are doing phase two trials. Another firm which is which has entered phase three trial is the Melbourne University from Australia and they are conducting phase three trial. So there are three firms in the world which are actually doing phase three and they're pretty close to getting the vaccine results, final results. Now let us look at the news which has come up from Russian University, which claims that they have got first COVID-19 vaccine. And this university, Sechino University from Moscow, was one of the two institutions where COVID-19 vaccine candidate was being tried in Russia. The other institute is some military hospital in Russia. And this university in a press release has claimed that they have finished the clinical trial and they have got successful results with no side effects and they also declared that they will start making this vaccine from next month and probably commercial production will start from
from September. This is a big claim, friends. So I wanted to go into the details of what their vaccine involved. Look, when I looked at the details of their vaccine, they have conducted vaccine trial in two groups of volunteers. One group is of 20 people and the second is 18 people. And they have admitted these patients and they're going to discharge them after 28 days of in injection. Now, this is a very small group and this is very early to say that the vaccine has already been tested and tried and it is successful. As I mentioned earlier, phase one trial involves few volunteers and then testing the efficacy and immune response and safety of that injection into these volunteers. So it looks to me this Russian vaccine trial is a phase one trial. And I think to my knowledge, they need to do phase two and phase three trials. Nowadays, due to lack of time and urgency of the situation, a lot of firms are doing phase two and three trials together. So Russian vaccine needs to undergo this extensive trial before its efficacy, safety and the duration of effect is established. Few more points have been raised regarding this vaccine. Apart from paid volunteers, some of the team members of the university have also undergone testing with this vaccine, which is against the medical ethics of trialing new medication or vaccine. And the trial results in these 38 volunteers have not been released. The medical world needs to know the exact details of each individual who participated into this, this trial, the, the response they got, the symptoms they developed, the, the levels of the antibodies produced and their details. Without knowing this, it will be difficult to conclude and analyze the beneficial effects of this vaccine. And university has also in its press release said that the, all the volunteers will be discharged after 28 days and they'll be followed for next six months. This itself means that the trial is not complete yet it needs further observation, follow up of the people who participated in the trial and then making sure that they actually got adequate cover protection against COVID-19 virus. So I, what I understand from this news of Russian vaccine is that they have only finished phase one trial yet, but some of the media uh, channels, portals, especially the Indian channels, they propagated this idea uh, that they had created, the Russians had created new vaccine. But Western media has been more mature in its reaction uh, to the Russian vaccine announcement and they have tried to go into the details of this announcement. Now, friends, look at this news from Imperial College in London. They have been testing their vaccine too and it's in phase two clinical trial and they are expecting their vaccine to come out early next year. Now, this kind of claims, which are based on scientific trialing and testing and looking into the safety and efficacy of the medicine or vaccine are assuring. And I would like to go for such vaccine, which is tested and trialed in a scientific way and not rushed to be announced on 15th August or on some predetermined date. So friends, I hope these updates help you to understand the current situation of the Russian vaccine and other vaccines, which are the forerunners in this race to make effective vaccine against COVID-19. Stay connected. Thanks. Bye-bye.